All right, what's up, guys? In today's Vertigo, what is the best long range AR to use after the last few updates? A bunch of nerfs, a bunch of buffs, and a bunch of patches to make a couple of the Cold War attachments better has made the Cold War longevity for their ARs much better. We're going to be comparing the best AR class ups of the top eight weapons, which I think are the meta weapons for the long range, and then compare them in range, recoil, mobility time to kill and then how the range and velocity affects your overall time to kill to give you what i think is the best long range weapon if you guys are anything new with the videos i hope y'all please leave a like leave a comment down below out of these eight weapons which one is your go-to long range meta and then obviously if you guys are new to the channel and are not subscribed make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below the first thing is obviously the best class setup all these guns are built the exact same way agency the bolt velocity barrel axle arms three times 60 and the field agent Pretty much the exact same class setup, just different attachments for Cold War. Mono, the longest long barrel VOK 60 and Commando for the Modern Warfare weapons is going to improve them the most. Obviously, the best overall class setup, and you guys can see on the screen, is going to affect our stats. Which we're going to take a look at right now to give us the best overall gun for range, mobility, and then accuracy. So let's take a look at that. But as far as the range category, the big negative of the Cold War weapons is the only thing that improves their range is obviously the agency. So with the XM4, you're only at 24 meters, AK only about 27. Their velocity is about average, about 1150 to 1200 for all the Cold War guns. And obviously in the velocity category, the Kilo is king. And the Ram 7 is also king, which is what helps the Ram 7 be a god tier metal weapon right now. Then obviously range, the Kilo is in a class of its own at almost 50 meters, which is what makes the gun excellent. And then the Amax is pretty average in range. And then bullet velocity is on the low end, so... We'll take a look at how this velocity affects the overall time to kill because it does make a difference at the longer distances in my opinion. Then we take a look at mobility. The biggest factor for these guns is the Cold War weapons are built for mobility. They don't have anything that tanks their movement or their stray speed besides the barrel. Then with the Modern Warfare weapons, all of the attachments tank their ADS and tank their movement, which is why they're all in the red. So mobility wise, out of all these weapons, the XM4 and the Krig 6 are the best. The XM4, pretty much mobility-wise, is the best weapon. It has good movement, good strafe, and a very fast reload, which is what makes it excellent. Then, obviously, like I said, the big negative with that Amex, though, is your ADS is on the extreme low end, movement on the extreme low end. And then the Kilo is the same. Extreme low end for movement compared directly head-to-head -head versus the Krieger XM4 is about 10% slower, which is a huge negative. But the recoil is significantly better, which we'll take a look at right now on the screen. So on the screen now, you guys are about to see the recoil patterns of all eight weapons. What I try to do is my best to line these up to where the recoil is showing exactly how much they kick so you can see the actual biggest differences. The so one huge standout here is obviously the Kilo. It has half, if not more than half of the recoil of all the other guns. And the one factor I also noticed was the Far and the Krig. Uh, the Far has had the recoil improved and the Axial Arms three times has also been improved. And with the Krig, it had purely vertical recoil only, no pull left or right. Kind of similar to the Farah. It pulls vertically, but it does have a little bit of movement. The Krig accuracy, when I test this at, test at 15 meters, was insane. The Farah has always had no recoil, which you guys can see. This is with 60 bullets. It doesn't kick at all. So clearly, King is going to be the Farah, the Krig, and the Kilo. The one biggest factor with the Far and the AK is they took about... I think 35 or 36 bolts are the only ones shown on the screen. So the extra 15 to 25 bolts are actually off the screen, which you can't even see. Then obviously the Amax is good. The Ram 7 is good. And the XM4 is just pretty basic. It pulls up and the right, which is similar to that of the M4. But we're going to go next is the overall time to kill, how velocity affects that, and how the range affects that as well. All right, so what you guys will see on the screen is the time to kill chart. If we take a look at our ranges and then factor in the time to kill, as I said, we're looking for the best long range rifle. Anywhere from 0 to 36 meters, the AMAX is the fastest killing weapon. As soon as it drops off from the 36 to 42 meter mark, the Ram 7 is the fastest. Then, obviously, after the Ram drops off, the Kilo from 42 to 50 meters is the fastest killing weapon. So, in order to look for the best long range rifle, we'll take a look at that second damage range, then take a look at which one of these guns are best. So, anywhere beyond 50 meters. In your range or your time to kill categories, in the top fastest killing guns, you have the AMAX, the AK, and the FAR. Those are going to kill about 600 milliseconds or a little bit less. You have the XM4, the FAR, the Ram 7. It's between 650 and 700. 
Then a little over 700 is a Krig, and the slowest killing gun is the Kilo. Now the Krig and the Kilo are the two slowest killing weapons, but as I said, they are the most accurate, and that is what makes them excellent in my opinion. So the biggest factor in taking those first couple of guns, the AMAX, the AK, and the FAR, the AK and the FAR have a lot of vertical recoil. So your ability to actually have a shot above 50 meters is probably not practical. And these are more of a mid-range weapon. Similar to that of the AMAX, it doesn't have the best bullet velocity, which you can still hit shots because it's very accurate, but it's going to be a little bit harder than that of the other three weapons or other five guns. So the AMAX is still practical, but the AK and the FAR, in my opinion, excellent time to kill. Recoil is just impossible to hit shots, which is my opinion why they're not going to be good for the long range. And then you factor in the headshots, the only gun that takes more headshots to kill is the FAR and the AK and the Krig. They take at least three, which also is a factor in why the AK and the FAR are not practical long range. So the FAR, the Ram 7, the Kilo, and the XM4 only take two headshots at range, which helps lower their time to kill, which are the slower killing weapons, which is going to make them more practical, a little bit faster, but a bit more competitive. So we take a look at the long range time to kill like I said, I think the FARA is definitely a good sleeper. Is definitely taking a rise easily in the top four. So when you take a look at your long range rifles, I have the Ram 7, the Krig, the Kilo, and the FAR in fourth. Obviously, we're looking for the best gun after the AMAX nerf. I can't include the AMAX in that. The FAR is highly, highly accurate. Has very little vertical recoil. It's going to easily hit your shots. And like I said, time to kill wise is good. Takes two headshots. The Ram 7 takes two headshots. Time to kill is good. The FAR is actually faster than the Ram 7. Then with the Krig and the Kilo, they're 100% more accurate, which if you're anywhere beyond 50 meters, is going to make it a little bit easier to hit your shots. So if you're taking a look at time to kill wise, which guns are competitive or which guns improved, the Ram 7, the FAR, and the XM4. The XM4 is actually the fastest killing of all these weapons, is definitely moving up in the rank. And I think for that reason, these are the five best long-range rifles. XM4, FAR, Ram 7, Krig, and Kilo. For me personally, if you summarize what is best about each gun, obviously the FAR, the Ram 7, the XM4 kill faster. But the Krig has very good mobility and very, very good accuracy and has a good time to kill. Even without headshots, so that's the huge negative. is the only one of the five that doesn't kill with headshots. It takes three. Kilo has no recoil, has better velocity, and then obviously has the best range, which is going to help you anywhere beyond 40 meters kill faster than a lot of these other weapons, which is also what makes it good. And then obviously the Ram 7 has the best velocity, has a pretty good recoil as far as the stabilization because the command of the VOK in the barrel. And then time to kill wise is pretty competitive. But for me, I think the FAR and the XM4 definitely really solid sleepers. Obviously with their bullet velocity not being as good as the Ram 7 or the, the Kilo, it's going to factor in the long range. But... In my personal opinion, my best go-to weapon is going to be the Krig or the Kilo. Accuracy is always going to be king. They might be a little bit slower in the time to kill category, but accuracy is king. And then obviously, I'm looking for accuracy. The FAR would also be one of my go-to weapons, but it's all personal preference. Uh, like I said, accuracy, mobility, range, recoil, all these things factor in. And it's picking what's best for you personally. I'm a very slow player, so my opinion of what's best for me is different because I like to play slow. I like to do damage from afar. I'm not an aggressive player. I usually get bodied up close, I have to admit. So I like to fight from afar. I like to go for recoil, which the Krig would be the king for me. It's a little bit more accurate as far as establishing the Kilo and obviously kills faster than the Kilo above 50 meters, which is why I personally would pick the Krig as my go-to weapon. So like I said, if you guys are anything new in the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel down below if you guys are new. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you.